Welcome to this episode of Ask the Guitar Coach, the only podcast where you get answers to all your guitar-related questions. If you're interested in developing your guitar skills and reaching your music goals, please send me an email at the email address ioannis at ioannis.org. That is I-O-A-N-N-I-S at I-O-A-N-N-I-S dot org so that I can let you know about all the different packages of Elite Guitar Coaching and how you can get private coaching by me. Without further ado, let's go to our question for the day. What are the most important things to remember if I want to develop my alternate picking technique? Oh, that's a good question. So, most important things to remember to keep in mind when you're developing your alternate picking. Yes, this is going to be very useful, so pay attention. In order to be a good alternate picker, you need to have mastered three things. First, single string speed. Then, single string synchronization. And finally, third, string crossing. Let me demonstrate. So when we're talking about one string, I'm just going to play a D on the seventh fret of the third string, okay? So that's one note. This is just one note. If you want to reach a high speed on the guitar, for example, if you want to play at 200 BPMs, play 16th notes at 200 BPM, and you can only do that at 140, then you have a problem. And this is way, way more usual than most people will realize. Like someone will say, oh, I'm practicing all these difficult shapes and I'm trying to learn to play really fast and very clean like John Petrucci. And then I ask him to play just one note on one string and he can only kind of do it. So this is the first thing you should be practicing. The vast majority of intermediate guitar players would be really helped by just doing this exercise I just did. Just grab a note, fourth string or third string or second string, fifth or seventh fret, and just really play some time. Concentrate on it, being very rhythmic, very, uh, being with a metronome on time. It's really going to help everything. So that's the first one. The second one, the second one has to do with single string again, but synchronization. Now you're synchronizing the right hand with the left hand. So for example, if you're playing something like the idea of those two hands being very synchronized. So, if you don't have this synchronization, when you try to speed it up, it's going to sound like a mess. So definitely when you're practicing, you should be doing some synchronization exercises. So step one, single string speed, just with picking, okay? Just grab one note and just pick up and down. Step number two, synchronize the two hands. And now let's move on to step number three, which is string crossing. Now string crossing combines all the, pr the previous ones plus the mechanic of crossing strings, which is the most difficult thing to do when you are playing uh, alternate picking on the guitar. So basically, if you're changing strings, what happens is that you have to move your pick from one plane to the next one. So right here I'm on the second string and I have to jump over and go to the third string. I don't mean jump over the string, but just move over, move like this direction. And then if I have to go back, go back to this direction. So if you're trying to do something like that and you have not practiced the previous things we talked about, it's gonna be a mess. But even if you have practiced the previous, you have to practice also this, the string crossing. Now, the purpose of this video 
is not to actually like give you a, a full series of exercises on how to do that, but to just outline them so that you understand what it is you need to do. And then your teacher will give you, or your coach will give you your own exercises. Once again, let me repeat. Number one, single string picking technique. Just one note played many times, just with the right hand, okay? So to become comfortable with this motion. Number two, you need exercises that will develop your independence and your synchronization between the right hand and the left hand. So that when you play, you don't just play a specific speed here and then a specific speed here and you pray they synchronize, but they are actually synchronized from the get-go. And number three is learning different string crossing mechanics. There are so much more things to say. There are like literally dozens of different mechanics for each one of those uh, things we just mentioned. But this is the outline that you need to know in order to start developing your alternate picking. So there you have it. I hope this was helpful and I will see you on the next episode of Ask the Guitar Coach. Until then, keep those questions coming and have fun shredding. Bye-bye.